Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore how to find the length of objects using a tool called a ruler. Now, let's start by thinking about one of my favorite things in the whole world food. So, let's imagine a sandwich that is one foot long. Now, you probably already know that one foot is exactly the same thing as 12 inches. They are two different units of measurement. And if we cut this sandwich directly down the middle in half, we know that each half would be six inches long. And for this lesson, we are going to explore using a ruler that has that same length of six inches. And we're going to take a look at what the symbols and markings on the ruler mean and how we can use them to measure different sized objects. So let's take a look at the side of the ruler that's labeled in inches, and you can determine that by looking for the word inch, or IN as an abbreviation. Notice the large numbers 1 through 6 are labeled on the ruler. Each of these spots is a value of 1 inch in length, so the distance between 0 and 1 is equal to 1 inch. The distance between 0 and 2 is equal to 2 inches which can be expressed as 2IN. The distance between 0 and 4 would be equal to 4 inches. But what would happen if we're measuring a distance that falls somewhere in between two of these values? Notice that there is a marking directly in between each 1 inch marker on the ruler. And each of those markings are going to represent 1 half. So in this case, we have a length of 4 and 1 half inches. Now, what if we push our measurement a little bit further so that it's in between a whole number and a 1 half? In this case, we're in between 5 and 5 and a half. The markings in between these values are each worth 1 quarter. So in this case, we have a measurement of 5 and 1 quarter inches, or 5 and 1 fourth. And if we push our length a little bit further so that it's in between 1 half and the next whole number, we can conclude that this length is equal to 5 and 3 quarters, or 5 and 3 fourths. So now that you have a better understanding of using a ruler to find the measure of a length, let's gain some practice using a ruler to measure some different items. So let's start off by finding the height of this piece of candy. We could start by turning the figure on its side and taking our ruler and lining it up so that the zero inch mark is aligned with the left edge of the figure and seeing how far along it goes on the ruler to the right edge of the figure. In this case, this piece of candy has a length of one and a half inches. Oh yeah! Now let's see if we can find the length of this inchworm. Again, we can take our ruler and line up the zero inch mark with the left edge of the figure and seeing how far along the ruler it extends to the right edge, in this case, three and one quarter inches. Now what about an object like a video game controller? Again, we want to use our ruler to find the length of this object. So we can line our ruler up on the left edge at the zero inch mark, and we see that this object is longer than six inches. So first we measure the first six inches of the object, and then we have to measure the length of the extra space. To do that, we can slide our ruler over and see that this figure extends an extra three quarters of an inch. So we can conclude that the video game controller has a length that measures six and three quarters of an inch. So this should get you comfortable now with using a ruler to find the length of measurements of different objects. So you might want to go back and rewatch this lesson a few more times and continue practicing using your ruler as you continue to explore measurement and different topics in mathematics. And I thank you again so much for stopping by. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you all next time.
All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also, don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, you get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support and I will see you all next time. Bye.